Yeah, greetings a man for a show for you for greetings to all of my viewers and my subscribers. If you avoid the righteous messenger way I represent at the pass through and I would like to take this opportunity to welcome you to the Righteous Messenger YouTube channel. And I'm for I will encourage each and everyone to join the Righteous Messenger, you know, Facebook page. Also join the Righteous Messenger, you know, family Facebook group. So we can all help, you know, share this message of fix the country as well as the message of enlightenment. I'm on for you know say righteous messenger I they do these videos or I they react to videos you know with truth, common sense, you know, logic and reasoning. I'm on for and today I day here is because of the of the response that the IGP of Ghana, you know, police force. IGP will be named self. By the way, the, the IGP is called uh, James Opon Buono. James Opon Buono. His response to the killing of one, you know, of his staff or the killing of a member of police in a very, very, you know, horrific and tragic way, you know, as he was guarding or escorting a bullion van, you know, you know, during their, you know, daily collections amount for the response that the igp or inspector general of police for ghana james upon buono gave is really appalling you know it really leaves a sour taste in my mouth amount for and once again i would like to say that the responses that the leaders under this regime you know under this you know mpp regime you know are given to you know problems you know these answers are you know damaging their reputation as a party i'm on for because look oh as the boy was killed in such a fashion and manner and the public came out to criticize the police to you know say that look why should the police allow a policeman a valuable member or a valuable asset of the state to go and sit in a bullion van and escort you know or you know guard you know collection of money when that bullion van hasn't got any form of you know bulletproof protection it's like there was no a risk assessment was there any risk assessment when this boy or police you know officer was asked to go and sit in that bullion van did they think that somebody can just turn up and start shooting just because of the money in the van was that assessed it's called risk assessment mr igp you know, I am not a security expert, but according to common sense, a bullion van should be protected by bulletproof. Police officers out there working on the streets, you know, patrolling the streets, need to have partners and they need to have bulletproof equipment or vest as well. For it, it be in with the talk, oh, but the IGP come out, come reply by saying that. What did the IGP say? The IGP replied by saying, There's crime everywhere apart from heaven. How do you know there's no crime in heaven? Do you even know there's a heaven? Can you prove it? Apart from what is in the Bible, which is just. A, 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 a book of stories I'm on for it's like what are the leaders doing in our country I'm on for it's like are they see this, are they see this? Ah, what is going on a police IGP number one 
for the police force in the whole country. If in they look after, you know, police, crime, protection of citizens. He can't even protect his member of staff. Uh, James upon Bano. You know, it's like the answer you gave is, is wrong. There's crime everywhere apart from heaven. What a layman excuse. You know what I'm up for? It's like the death of such, you know, a young man with such potential. You can see the boy had uh, was full of life. Look at his pictures. And he was killed because of negligence on the part of the police force. It's negligence. But I bet you James Opombano will still have his job. He still has his life. He still has his family and friends. I'm up for. Look at the excuse he's giving. Like, I don't know. This MPP party or regime, everything that happens, you know, when they come out and give, like, you know, to, to, to talk, basically, if something happens or if the, 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 the public, they, 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 you know, dish out grievances. The excuses they're giving is just me. I just think it's tarnishing their reputation as a party. Because I want for a look. What they talk in another fix the country, and another can't talk and fix your attitude. Look. If, if the people won't fix them attitude, it's the wrong time to say this because you have to fix the country facts and put the system and the measures in place. And when they go against it, you deal with them as a president. Uh, I'm all for. Look at ECG, uh, 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 Minister of, uh, of, of Electricity or Power and Energy. Doom so, doom so, come with the talk. I say, this one, they be doom see, doom see, doom ye, doom ye, see, see. I'm out for. Why? Same, uh, 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 um, when they talk about the roads as well, fix the roads. Because the roads, as you can see, are death traps. The minister of road come and he talks say, oh, those of you saying we should fix the roads or we should fix the country, uh, you are five years behind. Move forward, move forward. We have moved forward. Move forward with us. See, this is not a solution. We need a practical solution to problems, to situations like this. A man for the IGP should bow his head in shame. I'm up for like these videos of like I won't show you. See the the the, the number of Ghana's midday robbery cases in 2021 alone. Look at January, February, or February, excuse me, March, April, May, June. I'm up for look. January alone, I can count one, two, three, four, five robbery cases. February. Two day there, March 1, April 2, May 1, 2, 3, 4, June 3. Look how rampant crime is in the country. And there's a police. Is there a police force in Ghana? Ah, is there a police presence in the country? Because I'm all for, I just show you the, the, the Ghana's, you know, midday robbery cases 2021. And Toka, the Inspector General of Police says, look, there's crimes everywhere apart from heaven. He's never been to heaven. He doesn't know whether a heaven exists or not. But look at the answer he's giving. Does he deserve to be a leader? Does he deserve to be an Inspector General of Police? Oh, for what they ask, oh. What they ask. And... You know, this be the, 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 the thing I want to come talk about today. Our leaders are letting the citizens down. They're letting the country down. They're letting themselves down. 
huh? How can you give such an excuse to, you know, a tragic event? Amount for once again, I would like to send my greetings, greetings and deepest condolences to Emmanuel Osei's, you know, family and friends. It's a sad story. I don't know this guy, but, you know, if there's anything like rest in peace, may he have that. Such a young age. He joined the police force because Charlie Amanfo, he needs a job, he needs to feed himself, his family. How is the job of a policeman going to be attractive to other citizens or other able-bodied men who are looking forward to joining? If, you know, it's so easy to lose your life like this in the line of duty and the IGP, instead of coming out and saying something reasonable and sensible, you see that there's crimes everywhere, apart from heaven. Expressing his stupidity. You know, I want to be a body righteous messenger where I can't pass through again. And thank you for, you know, viewing this video. I'll see you again in the next video. Peace. Bye.